Hello, my friends. I'm Rick, and this is your Seed the Table. We got little Missy sitting over here in the can't care. You're looking bored as all get out. You're about ready to get out of there, aren't you? Yeah. You see, Daddy's been running his mouth for two hours, and he ain't done nothing. All right. So we are looking at BattleTech Classic BattleTech Companion from Fan Pro slash Wizards of the uh, Wiz Kid Games. Right. Uh, so this would be a a, a Fan Pro release of the updates for both MechWarrior and Battletech as a general. It looks like MechWarrior for the most. Uh, I've had this out in the truck for a couple weeks and I've been working my way through, uh, uh, through it but I'm, I'm not gonna lie I haven't focused on a whole hell of a lot of anything particular because there is so much information out here. And so we're looking at things like uh, character creation, how to use the life path system, life path creations, affiliations, additional paths, Stage two and three. Stage three, higher education. And then we have a slew of different facilities like uh, Major Federated Sons Academy at Sakura. And on the Major Draconis Combine Academy at the University of Prosfina, etc. Stage four, life paths. Comstar Service, Deep Space Trader, Tour of Duty, Black Warriors, Federated Sons, etc. Uh, point based character creation system traits, skills, creatures. I was I found that one really interesting because I, I was really, uh, like I said, uh, based on the earlier fast material, there wasn't a whole lot of, 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 of flora and fauna explored to, in uh, the Battletech universe. Mostly it was uh, either uh, nondescript or uh, benign, i.e. it was just grass or trees and we didn't they didn't make any efforts to make it exotic or alien because it's a slippery slope you want to get some creativity in there but you don't want to overdo it because you're not trying to create something that uh, we want the the hum the traditional human setting uh, earth-like setting uh, for this game as opposed to the high fantasy of star trek kind of exoticness so cre various creatures of the uh, of the galaxy carniv carnivorous plants creatures in combat. I always like these sort of things too from another perspective because like I said having been a game designer of my own you all been on my channel long enough you've heard me cry about it you've seen a few of my postings of my pathetic would-be game uh, at the, uh, but I have spent a lot of time uh, in the creations just trying to come up with creation roles uh, for creating plants and animals uh, without having this never-ending uh, list of, of monster manuals for you to buy. So I wanted a mechanic system that would that would give you as much variety as possible that could be understood and, and handled within a few pages of the rule book and not something that would take an entire book by itself. So anyhow, uh, battle armor construction. And we got skills, battle values, running the game, running adventures, and our credits and so on and so forth and uh, look like an homage to some of the early 90s uh, well it is the early 90s uh, artwork you know I mean it is, it is still that era I guess late art late era let's see rendition of Beckware third edition had been originally published by FASA this upon its reprint by fan pro the name was changed to classic Battletech RPG this product references changes blah blah blah. So this is in the companion to that book, which I, I may have a PDF of and haven't printed it yet. Uh, I may or may not, just a matter of the things and stuff. Character creation, how to use the life path, and and uh, it's some interesting things. You really, you're, you know, anybody cries about ever, you know, I've never had to create a character before. I don't know how to deal with it. Uh, I don't like how the system, you, you really want a rough system, go through Traveler, man. Your character's likely to die before they ever see an adventure on the table. You know, that's truth. Uh, the original original character generation system for Traveler was brutal. Uh, I loved it. <laughs> I'm just saying, right? Uh, anyway, so we get down to some various information of various academies, like Major Federated Sons Academy, the Killborn Academy. Characters may possess questionable events in their past, located in the blah, 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 blah. A little information on this, that, and the other thing. I got a page in here. I got grease on it, too, because it was got something bumped up against it in my truck. Everything in the work truck gets nasty. I'm just, no matter what I do. Uh, right? That guy's having a moment. Yeah, he must be a smoke jaguar. He looks like a loon. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what the hell to make of that guy. 
right? So anyway, th there's a lot of great stuff in here and uh, the animal creation section and the creators, a huge boon, a huge bonus for the game as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it, it was, at some point, I, I, want, I may go back and, and try to get a little deeper. There's a couple subjects in here that I was interested in. But once again, the downside, of course, is this is the uh, it, it, the stopgap or the intermediary stage. So with current versions, CGL's versions are the most up to date for for role play, the, for both the tabletop war game and the role playing game version of BattleTech, of course. Uh, so this would be you know, old school. It's like my doing all my second edition D and D stuff. A lot of people, ah, rah, rah, rah. well, to get from there to here, you had to have this too. So it it served a good role, and. Uh, if you can get your hands on this stuff from a PDF perspective, lots of good information. This is still a viable game system. You can play this game with the rules as they are in these books and never worry about it. It's the same thing I tell people when they go, oh, I want to get into, I don't know, this role-playing game or that role-playing game. What's the best rule? Uh, what's best for you? You know, if you're just starting out, you best it's probably better if you buy the latest version of whatever is going on, but be on just buy that with a caveat that if it's an old enough system there's a lot of previous systems and you will find a lot of players that have played for a long period of time are still married to a lot of those older systems and they have a tendency to carry parts of them with them no matter what revision comes along and then the older we are the more set we are in certain things it's a little harder for us to want to adapt or we don't want to just be bothered by an entire new set of rules which is a downside for new players who are getting into the game who want to play and then they come to the table and discover that most of the the old hats at the table don't want anything to do with the new system well that's kind of unfair to both sides it's unfair for the new person because they really want to play uh, and they've invested money and time and effort in into the new rules and the understanding of we're trying to and buying the materials and only to be so to have a sideline that can be discouraging so either try to find a group that's going to play the system you have or uh, be mindful that uh, a lot of times you you I've told people well if I want to play this I want to get this so you know what here's what I suggest go to a game go to one of the gaming rooms at one of the hobby stores and sit in on a session go play at a convention go to a convention and have a sit down uh, there's a lot of places that do regular stuff, and if you put a notice, you put a note up, somebody will show up and want to play. I mean, it's not that un uncommon, uh, but you, you say, look, I, I'm new to this, but I'd like to play the game, uh, you know, but I don't know. Before you invest in buying a bunch of stuff about I don't know, perhaps you should try it first, and then, uh, or you sit down with somebody else and sit there. Uh, well, I bought this system and it just sucks. And it's just, why is this one much funner? Well, you're running it, blah blah. blah. So, well, well, yes and no, but my set of rules or me the mechanics, the understanding of the mechanics underneath those rules make a difference because this is what we're familiar with, but this is why these systems are different from that system. Yeah, whatever. So at the end of the day, you know, you know the, you know the, you know the rules. Uh, I think it's, I think it'd be good. I don't know that I would purchase this outright at this stage of my life because I wouldn't have. I'm grateful for uh, the fellow that sent me the PDF on it. Uh, I also got uh, uh, somebody uh, directed me towards a free PDF of the Wars of Reaving source book that uh, I was able to get downloaded and I printed out last this past week at the shop uh, so hopefully in the next week or two I'll get it bound up so I can get started reading on it I want to get because I really want to do that uh, I think I got the I currently have the last book in the Jihad uh, series uh, I want to say it's Blake Ascendant, but don't quote me on that. Uh, it's a PDF version. I've looked at it before, and I've touched on it in a couple of videos, but it's out in my truck. Uh, I expect to spend the next couple of weeks uh, dragging myself through that chaos, to that chaotic mess with that uh, they thought was a great idea for presenting <laughs> the game books. Uh, yeah. uh, honestly, I don't know that I would ever go back to any of those jihad books again, and uh, I would be hard pressed to want to uh, try to make head or set tales of any of it. I mean, I might go back for reference material for looking for specific events and things. At that point, the index plays, you know, it's worth its it's worth its poundage. <laughs> At least that's my opinion on it, anyway. So you know, I don't know. What do you know?
Till next time, I'm Rick. You ain't. Misty's over in the corner.